The word fix on sign after sign held by transit activists outside Brooklyn Borough Hall subway station. The one where the ceiling came down and gave rider Molly Scott a concussion. To me, it screams we have to we have to invest some money in this. It's a real threat to riders to have a station falling apart like this. Fund the fixes faster is the message at this demonstration by the activists and some state politicians who want the MTA's 10-year fast-forward plan approved in Albany so the overhauls of 300 stations can start next year. What we have is a lot of haggling about the how-to. The legislative roadblocks are the same old ones, knowing something needs to be done but not knowing exactly how to raise the money. The three state legislators here said congestion pricing, which charges extra for drivers into central Manhattan, is essential to raising tens of billions needed for fast forward. Obviously, the governor has a big role to play in pushing forward a congestion pricing plan. We want right, something for the MTA. We demanded to know from Governor Andrew Cuomo, can this get done? We have to get it passed in the beginning of the year. Can you? With the current makeup in Albany? Oh, I believe we will. Nobody has a, a better, smarter solution than congestion pricing, and I believe we get it done. Different funding streams could include much more kicked in from Mayor de Blasio and the city's budget. We found New Yorkers who don't want congestion pricing. Find another way. I think it should have been taken care of years ago. They say do it with fair funding spread out among more people. At Brooklyn Borough Hall, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.